started in Moffat and Nickel and be 55 years. I came here full time from uh, 1993 onward. I've, uh, I've been with Moffat and Nickel since the fall of 1998. I have been with Moffat and Nickel now for a little over 10 years. I've been with Moffat and Nickel almost three years. Uh, I've been with Moffat and Nickel uh, for almost 10 years now. I started back in 2005. Moffat Nickel is a, is, a, is a professional services firm. We do more than engineering. We do economics and, and uh, operations, but uh, we're making people's lives better. Uh, we're in the, in the civil engineering profession. We're uh, creating infrastructure um, and we're having fun doing it. Look around Long Beach. You know, take a look at the, at the marinas. Take a look at the oil islands, take a look at the, the harbor, take a look at uh, you know the park system and and you see Moffin and Nickel all over the place. I think the very first one was uh, for a project that we referred to as the uh, Long Beach Naval Shipyard subsidence remedial measures. Uh, long title there but it uh, had to do with uh, Oh, raising the shipyard essentially after it had uh, sunken some, well, I think the shipyard sank about 18 feet. Um, one of the early projects was the Gerald Esmond Bridge uh, project here in Long Beach that uh, getting ready to demolish about now and replace with a new bridge. When I first came on board, we were doing the seismic retrofit of the Gerald Desmond Bridge, and uh, just working on that project, seeing uh, in the title blocks there, uh, drawn by Al Ely, who was managing the project, and also I saw my grandfather stamping it, and, and I was uh, working on it as well. So it was just kind of fun seeing uh, the history uh, working on those projects. In terms of the future of Moffat and Nickel, um, I think the formula that we use, which is simply to be the best at what we do, is a formula for success. I think we're going to be a thousand people before we know it, although growth isn't our goal, but we're going to be there uh, whether we want to or not. So, and that's good because it offers a lot of great opportunities for the next generation of up-and-comers to grow in their professions. Well, I think they're right on the on the right path. I think the uh, the Boy Scouts and all that they stand for uh, would prepare a, a young man um, for a profession uh, in engineering, or and with a company like Moffat and Nickel. Um, you have to be disciplined. You have to be uh, self-directed, um, and I think those are some of the qualities of, of the Boy Scouts. Um, so I think uh, people that uh, are in scouting uh, are are taking the time to uh, uh, find those experiences and I think it serves them well when they're out there looking for work. I, I guess what I got most out of Boy Scouts is um, uh, in, uh, the ability, you're learning to how, how to be a leader for one thing and, and secondly um, being much more comfortable being um, on my own in different situations. Teamwork, working together as a team, and this is a profession that definitely uh, it requires teams uh, to work on projects. Uh, you have the engineering teams, the contractor teams, and they also have the public. Um, so I think teamwork is a, a, a big thing you learn through the Boy Scouts and, and Cub Scouts in my case. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of the Boy Scouts and how it's affected uh, my career, I guess, uh, is the motto, be prepared, which could pretty much be um, an engineer's motto for that matter. Follow the creed of the scouting because it is the same creed that would apply to engineering and it, it centers around integrity. Work hard and it'll serve you in the long run. Moffat and Nickel is, is Long Beach and Long Beach is Moffat and Nickel.